Welcome. This is what is going on on the Sun today, the 4th of May 2011. Although we have a lot of regions on the Sun, there has been very little activity to go along with it. Another reason why I think that sunspot number is not a very good indicator of solar activity. Anyway, let's, let's take a look at what each of the regions have been doing. Region 1200 in the southwest has shown some gradual development, but as it's going to be rotating over the west limb in the next couple of days, it won't have very much effect on our future space weather. The region that I mentioned yesterday in the northwest was numbered region 1206, just in time for its spots to disappear. However, a new region just to its south and west has developed, and that is yet to be numbered. Region 1203 is just a single large spot and is very stable. Region 1204 has been showing some signs of activity and growth. 1205 is still there. Two new regions have appeared on the disk. One rotated over the east limb following the 1204-1205 complex. And then there's another one to the north of that, a very small group, which may develop in the, in the coming days. In the last 24 hours we've had no sea flares, but there was a coronal mass ejection just after I filed yesterday's report, and we'll be able to see from the SDO movies where that came from. The Stereo A spacecraft gives us the first clue as to where the CME came from. If you look in the northeast, there is some sort of disturbance going on. That would be in the area where region 1206 disappeared, or where that new region that I mentioned earlier started to grow. SDO shows the sun as we would see it from Earth. In the Sunspot and Magnetic movies, concentrate on the northeast quadrant where region 1206 disappears and the new region starts to appear. And I think it is the emergence of this new region that causes an established filament to erupt and create the coronal mass ejection, as we shall see in the Helium 304 movie. There, did you see it? And the same again in the X-ray movie. The Stereo B data shows that we have very little going on in the regions that are due to rotate onto the disk in the next few days. So we would expect solar activity to remain relatively low unless we get the emergence of a brand new region. So what would we expect to see in the SOHO coronagraph data? If that filament eruption is the source of a coronal mass ejection, then we should see one off the northwest limb. And indeed we do. As I have already said, we can see from the composite coronal image that there is not very much due back for at least several days. The auroral zone seems relatively quiet, with the KP index varying between 1 and 3. So in summary then, the sunspot number has increased to 77. The X-ray background has dropped to B2 level. The intensity of the radio sun is 107 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has dropped to about 500 kilometers per second and the KP index has been rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours is a little less active than yesterday with sea flares only being possible, not likely, with almost no chance of getting an M or an X flare unless we get the emergence of a major new region. I think the chance of getting coronal mass ejections is still very good, but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm is quite low. If you want more details, check out the links in the description box below. There's also links to earlier editions of The Sun Today. If you want more current information, go to the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center's website. That's all for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.